Hello and welcome back to my five man challenge DLC extravaganza. So we're going to be doing chapter 21 and 22. I might do it back to back. We'll see. We'll see how long it takes. And it might actually be quite, kind of fast. Let's look at these enemies speeds first. All right. Their speeds aren't that impressive. The DLC speeds are crazy. All right. So I think what I'm going to do here is just blatantly disrespect them. And just enemy phase all of this with a single bonded shield. This playthrough has changed the way I think about the game. Even though a lot of this is DLC stuff. But like, just something as simple as this. Like this particular... Setup. Like, just something like that. Like, what are they gonna do? Hit me? Their hit rates are terrible. Good luck. You know? Uh, and I can park another unit next to her. All right, Mavier, he's out of, he's, he's gonna die. I'm just gonna park him in the corner. I'm, I'm gonna, t I'll take his, well, I'll get his stuff anyways. All right, I don't even need to take his stuff. He's just gonna die, so. But good luck to him. <laughs> he's dead. <laughs> he's 100% dead. Uh, then this situation down here. Um, I could kill this. I could probably kill that, even. No, I'm too far away. Too far away to hit that guy. Let's see. These dudes are still pretty tanky, so... We might have a situation. They're still very fast. So I'll do one of these. So I'm going to be getting smacked by that dragon. So I'll break this. And then, see what we can do here. Right, it looks like I'm gonna have to eat the hit from the dragon to kill this, that's fine. The Lance Power. So this is without Speed Taker. Now if I were using, if this were, oh yeah, I also could have increased her speed too. I just gave her speed plus one. I usually could buy it, I just don't <laughs> feel like it. Uh, okay, let's put you on Levin Sword. In case they target Alir. Nice, it goes for her. Some chip damage. Okay, they are going for me. That's what I thought. Eleven swords coming through. The eleven sword sword power. Fine. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately. I mean, I could allow the archers to shoot Saline. Or not Saline. Um, what's her face? Ram. Yeah, they're all gonna go for earlier. I'm gonna enemy phase, or I'm sorry, I'm gonna player phase the archers and then move the. I can't move it now. I was gonna move it towards those paladins up there. Yeah, if Saline was the one who was attacking, she'd kill all these. She should probably have sword power too. That'd be an interesting idea. All right, here's a bunch of enemies. Okay, so start killing some things. Let's get rid of an archer. All right, so bonded shield. I could pop this, so I have to be mindful. So I either need I need an axe, essentially. So what I should do, get two kills here. I'll stay on Axe. I'm pretty sure I can deal lethal on counterattack to these. Okay, let's go for this one. All houses unite. There's no reason not to. This way I just hit it without taking damage. Okay. Now, in this situation down here, I would like to kill some things. She could probably tank a lot of this. Go for Ragnall. Yeah, Ragnall is just a little bit better. Alright, we got a crit. I'll take it. So she can start holding those off. And then Chloe can just stand here and Flame Lance this. Now she's bonded. All right, and then you just go in the corner. <laughs> just go, just go in the corner. 
They're going for- oh yeah, that's right, I don't need to worry about breaks. I was like worried about breaks for some reason. <laughs> There's no- you can't be broken if you're bondage shield. They're all going for Chloe. For some reason. Maybe the speed reduction from the weight. There we go. And Ignis as well. I'll take it. Ignis is the solution. If it hits. I have to say these small these small bonded shield setups are very efficient. They're more efficient than diving enemies. <laughs> just sad because like you would you would hope that player phase would matter more, but it just doesn't. Right, I'm gonna start thinning out some of these. <laughs> the Super Riders Bane. <laughs> it's my favorite thing right now. Alright, now there are five enemies, but we have a dance, so I think I'm going to kill every last one of them. So let's just do something like this. Basically, I'm just going to move Fram out of the middle and then dance. Is AoE dance just better than running a dancer? I think it is. Honestly, I think it's just better. She can kill this furthest one. Look at this. This is amazing. I'm so proud of her right now. Now, it is overleveled frame with Star Sphere, so factor that in. <laughs> Alright, and then you kill this. Oops. Okay. Oh yeah, I forgot to use a Seraph robe. What's your damage? Alright, so he can't hit her. That kind of works out. Then she can kill a worm next turn. Yeah, look at how efficient we're, like this team is at killing things. It's pretty crazy. I'm not used to it. I think part of the problem I always have on a lot of my runs, one, I'm always experimenting with different units and different classes. So like things that I'm not sure if they work or not are being run on my team, <laughs> which definitely hurts. Like it, it's easier just to run units, you know, are good on classes, you know, they're good on. So when I test things, like sometimes midway through, I'll have to drop a unit. So I basically just wasted a ton of early to mid game XP on something that's being dropped or reworked or something. So that definitely doesn't help. But the other thing, too, is just the amount of units. I think this game hands you too many units to run. Not in terms of the amount of units, but in terms of deploy slots. And you don't need that many deploy slots. For sure. Uh, let's see. We should probably go aggressive here. Alright, so what are we dealing with? Uh, silver axes and a silver bow. I think javelining makes sense here. Their speeds are low. Yeah, so we're going to equip Javelin here. Alright, then she needs to switch to her Avoid. Alright, 144 Avoid. Can't hit, can't hit. 20% hit rate. Can't, or can hit. 20% hit rate, can't hit, can't hit. Alright, so she can tank, like, all of that. Very likely. And then I can actually kill one of these two. So we'll just kill one. So now she can't die. Four of the enemies can't hit her. You should be able to kill this. She can hit outside of range. If she gets Ignis, I think it's lethal. Nope. It's <laughs> just barely not. Alright, let me see. I can Leaven Sword it. Alright, that's one Worm down. I like the positioning. I'm, I'm perfectly out of range. That's I like when things like that happen. It's aesthetically pleasing. Alright, what do you got? Alright. The Axe unit hits like, I don't know, 5 damage on her. Alright, we got a crit. I'll take it. Six damage. Oh, but a break. All right, fine. Nice crit. 
Maybe that should have been Timera for the Sandstorms. That made that would have made more sense, be more consistent. Alright, we're starting to get overrun a little bit. Arguably. Now I can move up. Alright, there's an archer. I do have some options. Alright, so it's two mages, 27 res. Her res is surprisingly low. She's very high level, but her res is only 27. That's really weird. I feel like other mages would have much higher res by now. Uh, 54 damage. 54 damage. So, she'll take 54 and die if she gets Thrawn twice. So that can't happen. <laughs> that can't be allowed to happen. Um, Alright. One thing I can do... Chain guard her? Oh, she can get up here. All right. Kill this. This will be some positional play. Uh, I think I brave. All right, brave sword this. Ah, oh, I can't. Now, can I tank those mages? I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think I can tank those mages. <laughs> she can tank a mage. I do have warp, though. Which, you know, if Fram is left behind, she'll probably die. 100, well, maybe not. 119 avoid. Can barely hit her. Can't hit her. Barely can hit her. Can hit her. She actually might be able to just warp Chloe and get away with it. As dumb as that. Actually, you know what? I'm going to flex on them. I'm going to I'm gonna take a huge risk here. <laughs> I'm going to get an emblem energy. <laughs> I'm going to see how good my RNG is right now. That's what I'm going to do. Alright, Warp Chloe. Alright, get a kill. Ah, oh, she doesn't have the... Ah, oh, it's unfortunate. Okay. Alright, I can tank one Thoron. I just have to kill this guy. And I can. I think I forgot to put an Elixir on Timera. Which is going to be a problem soon, if it's not already. <laughs> what do you have? Silver? Alright. Can I tank this? 42? I can barely tank that. <laughs> I can barely tank that. Uh, she doesn't have healing. Yeah. Alright. Let's see, let's see how this turn, this, how this goes. Alright, you... I don't want you to interfere, so just stay out of the way. What do we got? Okay, chain attack. Nice. First dodge, that's a, that's a huge one. That would have been almost lethal. All right, don't crit me. Good. Thoron misses. Chain. Oh, that's bad. All right, so she might she might die to chain spam. We'll see. No, the break. Nice. Nice. That builds up meter, even though she already has it. She survives, oh my god. The evasion tanking works. It's so dumb. Everyone lives. Everyone lives. Fantastic. Alright, I think I might go ham here. I think the play is Divine Blessing, uh, Whack, Kill. Well, I guess I can't tank all of this. I can always reposition. I have to be mindful of this, though. This is like a common thing in this map. Yeah, I have to be mindful of that. I can handle these. But I don't want to over aggro. But I also do have bonded shield, so. Uh, what can I bond? I can hold this position. Probably move over. She needs to heal badly. Somehow. She can still die to backups, backup damage right now. She just needed an elixir and I forgot to put it on. <laughs> I guess I can physic her. I'm gonna have a dead turn here. Just to heal. I suppose I could defuse healer, but I'd rather physic directly. Then she can javelin, probably get a kill. Oh no, she can directly attack. Yeah, let's do this. What do you got? Um Get a crit or something? Nope. Alright, dodge is fine. I'll take a dodge.
All right, where can you go? I think she can escape, right? Yeah. All right, I can just wait. All right, she's gonna pull some things away. What I should do is this. Combat Arts, Raging Storm. I'll take some damage if it hits me. Nice. Just to get rid of one of the Thorons. Then I kill this. Okay. Now let's check Mavier, make sure he's not going to aggro. So he doesn't interfere. Hell yeah, dude. Ooh, and the Ignis. Alright, so it's one shot. That's good. That helps. That's fine. I have rescue. And I can warp a rescue and then rescue <laughs> if I need to. We're going to be enemy phasing a lot of this. Perfect. Ike is really good emblem. Okay. No, they're pursuing Mavier. It's fine. They're, those units aren't really a threat. Alright, now what I do... So this was the idea the whole time. Kite. Alright, so then she just tanks. Now, this could just be using elixirs, so I just have to be aware of items in the future to do something. Alright, so... The bonded shield is there. We can javelin, yeah. Alright, so we'll kill this. He accidentally got involved. These are both gonna die, though. I should've just let him die immediately. Alright, and then... Oh yeah, I guess I can't kill that. I guess chill out. Or no. You kill this. Uh, maybe a Sandstorm or crit? For the first hit? Nice. Sandstorm and a crit. Okay, and then I don't have to be in the bond. I can actually go over here. And then just one round this to the brave. Oh, yes. That's what we're talking about. <laughs> no, they're attacking him. We're not supposed to. No, he's ruining it. He's ruin. I mean, let's, let's be real. I wouldn't have changed anything. That wouldn't have changed anything. <laughs> I would be fine here. So I'll just let him die. These enemies would have been pursuing me and just would have died on my Lucina ball. So it's not like it changes much. All right, you. We need to get rid of this guy. I don't like these Thorons just hanging around. I'm not a fan of them. Uh, let's do. Yeah, I can't get close enough. Can I tank all that? What is this? This is another Thoron, I think. The end game loves that loves some Thoron. I suppose I could rescue. Alright, so let's kill a Thoron. I'll rescue. Let's go for a crit. Oh. Crits. Alright, I have a Javelin. This guy will attack. I'll Bond Shield. Let's Convoy. <laughs> Should've... She has a dumb Silver Blade for no reason from an enemy I killed last match. <laughs> that would've made it so much easier just having Elixir. The Gentle Flower is nice, I will say that. The Gentle Flower is nice. So, having Anna instead of Saline on uh, non-DLC. But on non-DLC... I don't think Saline's combat prowess would be enough. You'd probably need Anna. 
All right, he's dead. Sorry. Very unfortunate. <laughs> very unfortunate. I clearly don't care at all. <laughs> it's very unfortunate. Sorry. Uh, you know. All right, that dude didn't even attack Saline. That's interesting. What's the justification for that? Hit rates? Oh my god, her, her void with this. He can't hit her. She can just flex on him. He literally can't hit her. It seems like just having A supports could break the game. I do have a theory. A game theory. No. <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny to me. Uh, a game theory. What's the theory? <laughs> Today on game theory, we're going to talk about dual support. <laughs> dual support. Dual support would make it so that units with high support ranks would be able to infinite dodge tank without bonded shield. Potentially allowing me to four man without DLC. We should try it. <laughs> That's game theory for you. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> it's a game theory. Dude, that guy is, that game theory, he has like five channels or something. He's like a super YouTuber. He has like 10 billion channels that all have millions of subs. He has like movie theories. I think he even has like music theory. He has every, he, he has an empire. He has an empire of game theories. So you cannot diss MatPat. He has massive following, okay? I might be clowning on him as a meme, as a joke. But the dude is extremely successful, and he's probably like, like a legitimate millionaire. Actually, let's look up his net worth. He's probably legitimately a millionaire. <laughs> Matt Pat net worth. Here, let's see. He's worth $42 million! Oh my god. That's hilarious. $42 million for just being like, welcome to game theory. Dude, that's the winning... He's winning in life. Alright, if anyone denies that he's winning in life, you're crazy. He, he's a millionaire from talking about video games. He is a genius. He has 10,000 IQ. But that being said, he's fair, He's a fair target for memory. So welcome back to game theory. <laughs> Ignis is the saline solution. Who would have guessed? <laughs> welcome back. Fran is the best unit in the game. But this is just a theory. <laughs> this is just a theory. It's a game theory. All right. I may or may not have done videos in the past talking like that. I, I did. I did one as a joke when I did Fallout videos. Uh, or no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then there's another one. There's this other dude who does uh, content like Fallout. He does like lore videos. And I was doing like some dumb like, meme lore videos where I was, like, talking about the mystery of, like, trash cans and Fallout. Because there's, like, like, there's, they really reach, like, the whole point of the video was that they really reach for a lot of these. Where it's, like, oh, this, you know, this mysterious thing in this, or this, like, little detail in this game is really this huge conspiracy theory. So I was kind of, like, poking fun at that. Because in reality, it's just, like, something is just in the game. It's just kind of there. Alright, Gris. You're about to get beat up by a teenage girl a second time. I've been defeated. You're about to get defeated. Prepare yourself. You fool. Alright, little Fram. I think the only way to run DLC without it breaking the game would be to just do like Tiki's Paralogue and that's it. <laughs> or just don't do any of the Paralogue. So basically, just don't run the DLC. <laughs> That's how you run it without breaking the game. You just don't use it. <laughs> Alright, now. Um, I really wish I had the... Oh wait, here we go. See, this is the type of stuff you want to look for. You want to look for this. Look at that. Do you see this perfect setup? You have to be a little creative with your positioning. A little, not too much. You don't get too creative. There's definitely a point where you can become too creative. 
And if you've ever seen Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Let's never be creative again. <laughs> it's a funny thing. Welcome back to Gris Theory. Is Gris really a masochist? Or is he un or is he covering up for his obsession? <laughs> his obsession with theories. All right, that's enough. Of, that's enough theories this evening. All right, Fram, you're the hard carry here. Beat him up. Beat him up. Take that. No more pain. <laughs> All right, uh, I guess I'll go grab some alts. Oh, how am I gonna kill Vale? I can't exactly warp her. Well, I do have Makaya. I just didn't run it. <laughs> I guess I could just enemy phase a lot of the things, and then dive her. I think that's what the play will be. All right, you go grab this. Oh yeah, and then I'll do the little dragon, little dragon situation. Uh, let's do a heal. My treat. Get some diffuse healing going on. Okay. I'll just wait. Wait! <laughs> wait! Oh no, they got the little dragons. Yeah, so we kill Zephia. I'm pretty sure I get all the DLC emblem things bracelets, I guess, um, <laughs> for the next chapter, which is, <sighs> can we, can we talk about this? Can we, can we, can we have an honest discussion about how the chapters where you lose your emblem rings, the DLC is like, what? You don't lose your emblem rings. You have all these better ones. <laughs> can we have an honest discussion about how silly that is? All right, what do we got? Silver sword. Kellad Bolg plus Thoron. She's gonna Thoron me. Gross. Um, yeah, alright, you're tanking. Oh, well, what weapons are we dealing with? Silver Axe. Alright, we'll do this. Silver Axe. Okay, so that means I'll use... Oh, I guess I could just use Ragnow. Yeah, let's use Ragnow, whatever. I'll still do this, though. There we go. Strategery. Should I do a series called Game Theory? No, I'll, he'll probably like to take the videos down if he finds out about it. <laughs> he'll probably get mad at that. <laughs> like blatantly making fun of Matt Pat or something. Game Theory, dude! Come on. Aww, oh, I was hoping for something. I'm surprised she doesn't double those. It might be very fast. Oh no. Alright, so I have Bond Shield. Uh, I think the play here is like, basically ignore these, kill her, and then Bond Shield in the middle. Let's see, what kind of crit rate are we looking at here? Oh, she has no hits. Yeah. <laughs> she just got Dragon Clawed. Take that. Do it here. The only problem is I can't. Well, I guess I could. I could, yeah, I could do this. Let's do this. Time to engage. <laughs> All right. Thoron theory. All right, get hit. Ooh, a crit. I'll take it. I will take a crit. Okay, and then we can kill her with magic. Or no, we can't kill her with magic. She's like a magic tank. Javelin? No. Sandstorm? Or crit, please? Pretty high chance of one of those. Yep. Alright, she's done. She's done. She's done. She's done and gone. She's done. Alright, Khaled Bolg. S rank, which we cannot use on this class. Very unfortunate. Everyone involved. You will be cool. Actually, what I should do... See, if that was Anna, she would have the support. And she could dodge tank a little bit better. Alright, bonded here. Uh, let's see, what are we going for? She can tank it. 
The avoid rate's pretty good. Alright, kill this one. Alright, she didn't dodge. It's fine. Alright, I'm gonna send this guy. I'm gonna send him back to the nether realm. Or should I kill this? What if I. Oh no, that'll kill me, maybe. Um. Yeah, I'm just gonna whack you. Get sorted. Right in the game theory. <laughs> Dude, he's a millionaire, okay? He's laughing his way to the bank every day. He's like, I get millions of dollars for talking about video games. This is what he thinks every day. He is the... I wouldn't say he's lucky because he works hard, but... He probably... He might feel like he's kind of lucky. In that, um... He has, like, such an insane result. But he works hard, so he puts out content. He gets a lot of things going. He's probably one of the harder working YouTubers out there. There's, I mean, a lot of... The, all the Most of the big YouTubers are very hard working. But Game Theory pumps out content, so... And he knows the type of content to make as well. So it's not like he doesn't know what he's doing. He definitely knows what he's doing. So, nothing but respect. Respect. <laughs> I've got some diffuse healing going on. Uh, I can think I can brave this. Nice. But that's just a theory. <laughs> All right, uh, what do you what do we got going on here? Silver, silver, tomahawk. All right, so th both of those hit Timera very likely. So we want damage. Um, let's go for this. Okay. Nice. See, that's just a theory. Like, what are you talking about? How is that a theory? That's not a theory. Alright, we're almost to the point where we're pushing. We're gonna need to reset all these gam Gambinos. These childish Gambinos. Alright, can you kill this safely? Nice. What do you got? Fram. I want her to be level 20 by the end of this. You can second seal uh, before you do missions. So I can re I can reseal her in the picket. So as long as she hits level 20, she'll continue gaining XP in the next level. All right, so we got a heal set up for the big event. So I'm gonna have to enemy phase Lucina Bond to draw things away from Vale because I don't have Micaiah right now. And then I'll dive her. I think that's the way to kill her. A bunch of things are going to spawn in, but they're going to be too far away. It's not going to matter. So we'll be okay. And I'll just reset everyone's meters. The main ways to kill, uh, Fram could punch her to death for a health bar. Alir could Raging Storm and then Houses Unite for the other health bars. So really I could just... Actually, I could probably could warp... I could probably double warp in two things to kill her, to be honest. Her void is 94 though, so that's I would rather her be off the tile. Let's do this. But if I can get her to get bounced off with the smash, because I'm pretty sure. Okay, never mind. She's anchor. Never mind. She'll 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 stay on it. <laughs> I also have the option of um, Byleth, right? So I have two warps. I wouldn't warp Fram in, in this case. Uh, what's Flail? What is Flail? What is Vale's speed? 30. 26 right now. Alright, so her speed is 26, so Timeric can double. Timeric can... Alright, so I could just warp it. I'll try that. That's more fun. Let's try that. I won't need Ike. It doesn't really do anything as far as damage. Like, if you pop Ike, it doesn't really help your damage. Alright, so I definitely need this. Um, all right, you don't need that. Oh, yeah, and then I could dance. I could warp. Well, no, that doesn't make sense. That doesn't make sense at all. <laughs> Never mind. Because <laughs> the only units that can warp are on 
whatever. Now, one thing I was considering was actually making Chloe a griffin and getting her... I think I'll do that next time because then you have another staff unit and that's big you diddle diddly. Big you diddly. <laughs> that's an Oda block reference if, you, if you're wondering why I said that sometimes. He's a RuneScape YouTuber or a streamer. He's always talking about you diddly. Alright, what do we got going on here? Set this up. The double warp. The double warp dive. The warp dive and the warp drive. Let's get these here, and then I need to get another warp out of the bank. AKA the convoy. Probably should heal first, though. Alright, who has warp? You have warp. Alright, you need warp. I'll put that back for welling. Take that mend. Got warp. I think I actually just got a warp staff from the well, also. There we go. Alright, now we have two warps. Alright, now the warps. Let me see. How does this work again? Okay. So we have to, like, move in. Or at least get up further. I might not have the range for it. But there is an opening on the side here, so I might be fine. Alright, you go here. You go here. Alright. Alright, let's see if the math checks out here. Alright, so one, two, three, four, five, six, move. <laughs> I don't think that's enough, actually. So I end up here, right? So Alright, so I end up next to this. So one, two, three, four, five, six, move. Um, yeah, I'm not in there far enough. However, I think you can stand here, actually. I could be wrong. I can try. I can test it. Let's see. You can. Okay, that solves it. Alright, we got this. Yeah, some some enemies. This guy might be a problem, though. Right, let me see. Let me check her. I might have to warp Chloe. One, two, three, four, five. No, we got it. Okay. Alright, we got this. Alright, warp one. Or no, I have to let Byleth in first. Byleth. Alir in first. Alright, Alir. Okay. Yeah, I have to hit the smash attack. If I want this to work. So it's going to be kind of sketchy. <laughs> the accuracy might be bad. The Raging Storm. Yeah, it's a 50. Oh, it doesn't kill. It doesn't kill. All right, this isn't going to work. Uh, all right, let's undo this. All right, I have to bonded. All right, what's Veil's range? All right, we have to aggro Veil. So, all right, we do need Lucina. You can grab these ones. There's one. There's two. There's no aggro on these. You can see that on these ones. Kind of nice. Useful to know. Uh, do I need the Ike? I don't think so. Alright, we'll set this up. This is probably how I'd have to do it without the DLC stuff. Well, I guess I could bring Makaya, but... Makaya on a low man team doesn't feel very useful. You could arguably warp skip maps, though, so maybe it would be. Alright, so let's get in there. Okay, now Vale has what weapons? Two range? Alright, so I can counterattack her at two range. That should get a health bar off. And I want to do that with Chimera. So we will use a Javelin. We're going to be ignoring the armors who are going to be going after us. I don't want her to get attacked. So it'd be a waste. And then you sit here and we go. Alright, they get a bunch of reinforcements. Hopefully she charges us, which I believe she will. 
Oh, and trap. Ah, uh, okay. I forgot about that. That'd be funny if she tanks all of this. Oh my god. Is she the goat? Oh my god, what is happening right now? What is happening right now? What are you gonna do? Uh, okay. That's it? I tanked that? Are you kidding me? <laughs> what? I just tanked that? Alright, now I think what I could have done... I think I can be out of range of the Entrap if I, like, push the other flank. I can't believe I tanked that. I'm pretty happy about that. She's she's mega dead right now. You have to understand that. She's, she's so dead. She's so dead, she doesn't even know it. She's mega dead. There's no way she's not. She's off her avoid tile. Fram's gonna beat her up. <laughs> she's so dead. You fool. Alright, I'm definitely gonna do this in two parts, because this is a long video. <laughs> Alright. Alright, we have lethal on this, so... This is such a weird weapon. She just hit zero. Give me a crit. Nice, dude. Alright. That's chapter 21. That's not bad. Definitely like and subscribe if you enjoyed this. I will be doing more guides. Um, so yeah. Thanks for checking this out. Feel free to drop a comment. Peace.